Hi, my name is Jim Bala. I'm the Snow Dog Tech at Byers Products. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about switch ground trucks, especially the Dodge from 99 to 02, 1500s to 3500s. One of the first things we're gonna need is, you know, how, how do we know it's a switch ground truck? So what you wanna do is go to our website, buyersproducts.com, uh, click on support, uh, plow selector, and then scroll down a little bit and the plow selector and you'll come to what's called the truck application guide. Kind of looks like this a little bit or a lot. And what you want to do is look for the Dodge. And the second page is Dodge 1500, uh, 2500, 3500. And what it'll tell you in the gray that what light adapter you need and what other accessories you need too. And there'll also be a plus right in front of the part number for the light adapter. Now in this application, it's the part number we need for the light adapter is a 1607-1130, which is right here. And then what also says we need is a relay, an outside relay, single relay, and that part number is a 1607-1210. Now there's another option to this, which we combined both packages together in one. Um, and that is part number 1607-1132. The 1130s are for single headlights on each side. The other part number that you might have or might need will be part number 1607-1120, and that would be a truck that has two lights on each side, one for high beam, one for low beam. And that's usually the sports model, but we'll do that video another time. But today we're going to concentrate on the single headlights on each side, and we will start by talking about our light harness truck side, which is part number 160102, and this is our relay pack. So in the relay pack, we have six relays. That's why we call it the relay pack. So this is very important. So what we want to do is make sure we place this in a good spot in the engine compartment where it's upright so water flows down past it. You know, don't put it upside down, don't stick it somewhere where it's gonna be like mist or any ground grit gonna be flying up at it. So we wanna mount this in a good location. Then what we wanna do is find our other side of the harness which is part number 16160104. Now this is the harness that goes from the grill to the relay pack. So what you want to do, because we have a smaller end so it feeds up through the grill. So we want to feed it up through the grill and connect it to the light relay pack. So once that's connected, what you want to do is about two inches away on the 16, 16, 0, 104, we want to peel back the loom. I said it's about two inches away from the connection. I'm going to peel back the loom and what you're looking for is a white with a black tracer wire with a spade connector on it. And the spade connector, they're kind of like blue, kind of nice looking, so you'll find it really quick. And what you want to do, you want to separate them. So you have a wire actually going back to the relay box, and then you have a wire that goes out to the grill. What you want to do is take your orange wire coming from the relay box, and you want to attach it. <coughs> to the wire that actually goes back into the relay box. So you're actually looping it back in. Then what you want to do is take the power wire coming from the control harness, which is part number 16160302. Now this is the power wire, the red and white wire, that goes all the way back into the fuse box where you pick up your switch power from. And you want to connect that wire to the other side so then it powers, goes down toward the grill. You also have two wires here that are purple. These are your turn signals. You just want to connect them to the other side of the harness. So you have that. Now, if your turn signals are opposite from your truck, all you have to do is just swap them right here, and then you'll be good. So now the next thing we want to do is connect the relay. Again, the part number is a 16. 07 1210. So I'm just going to open this up. Okay. 
Of course, we have our directions. Right down there. And our, our relay. So this is what our relay looks like. It's already pre-wired. Okay, you'll see it. Oh, pre-wired, and then we're going to be using two, uh, two terminals on this relay. But first, what we want to do is take this, and it has a big eyelet, and we want to go to a good chassis or fender ground or battery. Make sure it goes to a good ground. Then what we want to do is take the ground from the relay box. Now, it has a large terminal on it, so what we want to do is cut that off. And a strip of wires. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put like a little spade connector on there. Crimp it down. And then the ground terminal will go to terminal on the relay. Now on the instructions, it'll show you where to put it. So our ground will go to pin 87, which is right on the side here. So that's where the ground goes. Now the next terminal up top here, because we have to power the relay up. So that terminal, we want to run power to. So you're going to need an extra wire. And this red wire here we're going to use. And this wire has to go to pin 85, which is on top. Now you're going to run this red wire to a switch accessory 12 volts. But make sure it's different than where your controller is plugged into. So you have to have two separate uh, positions in the fuse box uh, for 12 volts. Again, make sure it's switched power so when you shut your key off, everything shuts down. The next thing we're going to do is uh, talk about our light adapters. <clears throat> Cut one open, pull it out. Again, this is part number 1607-1130. What you want to do is you have two harnesses running from the relay box. One is A, it says A on it, one is B. Usually A is the battery side. The shorter side and uh, B is the longer side because you got to go from the battery side across the truck to the other headlight. So, what I want to do is go behind the headlight, unplug the harness off the, the OEM harness off the headlight. And what you want to do is plug our harness in and then plug the OEM harness in the other side of our harness. So, it goes, this will go in between that. Then you have a purple wire that's your turn signal wires. You want to tap into the turn signal while you're down by the headlights. And finally, we have a brown wire on our light adapters, and that is going to go to ground. So you're going to have to cut this terminal off, put a little eyelet on it, and you want to go to a good uh, chassis ground battery, you know, a good ground. And uh, just please do not use the ground that actually goes, that's actually in the OEM harness. Um, you want to find a different ground from, from that source. And then finally, just plug it into your snow dog harness, and you should be good to go. And that's the video on a Dodge switch ground trucks from 99 to 02. Um, if you have any questions, visit our website, give us a call, www.buyersproducts.com, or check YouTube out for more videos. Make sure you like and subscribe, and happy plowing.